What's up, Fratero fam? So I'm officially a week into the Las Vegas project, and a lot of people have asked me, like, hey, Mark, you know, how are you doing this, uploading three to five videos a day and going to, like, one to two events every single day? You know, how are you not tired? And first off, I am. <laughs> you know, I want to say that I'm exhausted right now. And two, the biggest pro tip, I guess, is that I'm really not drinking, you know, I, which I, I know it's ironic being in Vegas right now. But obviously, you know, going to all these different events, even having a couple drinks if I were to every single day really adds up. You know, it just makes you way more tired, as everyone knows. In addition, I've started to get recognized more in person, especially here in Vegas. So obviously, I don't want to be like too drunk or anything, you know, especially when I'm networking and whatnot. But the biggest thing is just it's super tired and exhausting, you know. So I'm basically going to most of these events sober and just, you know, getting all the footage I can. It's been a crazy time so far. So continuing along with that, tonight I'm going to Excess. Now I've been to Excess before, and honestly, Excess is one of my favorite nightclubs in Vegas, if not my favorite nightclub. The layout is super unique. I've even heard that from some club experts, they consider it one of the best laid out clubs in the entire world. It honestly has something for everybody, and I'm telling you, it's an unreal nightclub. <laughs> in the beginning of the video as you saw the layout of excess is amazing it's super cool when you first walk in there's a giant pool and in case you're curious they actually do have midnight pool parties sometimes at excess so it's not just there for a show so to speak but obviously on a random night especially it being March is a little bit colder uh, they also usually have it closed off with like some type of plastic or some type of like barrier around it but sometimes people do fall in so I will say that but you walk in, also you have the, the huge pool, and this is one walkway that's like a mini island in the middle of the pool that's a bar, so you can go and grab a drink there. And there's a bunch of stations basically around the outside of the pool where you can look into the club. And what's interesting, you know, with this layout is you have the DJ, like so you usually DJ like this, but there's two different sides to the DJ booth, right? So you have the, the inside part of excess, which is basically after you walk around the pool, you go inside, it's just basically this club-like setup, obviously. And what's interesting is the DJ sometimes, and I've seen this, they'll actually go back and forth, especially when it's warmer out, like during the summer. Sometimes the DJ will be DJing like this into the nightclub. Sometimes the DJ will actually be the opposite, DJing like out to the pool, and people in the nightclub will just see their back, and sometimes they'll even go back and forth, which is kind of interesting. You know, it's really, really cool with the layout because, like I said in the beginning, it really has something for everybody, right? Like, if you like the kind of raging, intense parts of nightclubs, what you want to do is when you get to Excess, go to the inside nightclub immediately, right? Because not only is there a huge line to get into Excess in general, but then when you get to the actual part of the inside nightclub, also there's a certain capacity, and getting in can sometimes take you an hour or two, right? It's almost like a mini nightclub within the entire complex, so obviously make sure you get there first. But anyway, like if you like that kind of raging, intense, crazy part of nightclubs, you can easily go in that. But let's say you're like, you know what, Mark? 
I'm not into the raging nightclub. I want to have a drink, listen to some music, kind of relax by the pool. You can do that as well. So I feel like excess is also the perfect duality that no matter whether you're the biggest partier or whether you're like, you know what, I just want to be at a chill place. It has both of that, both those vibes in the same exact venue. Now, obviously for this project, you know, I'm producing a song on each place, really trying to encapsulate the vibe, the ambiance, and the experience in a track. And out of any venue in Vegas that I've been to so far, Excess, hands down, is the hardest one to figure out. You know, I've been there tons of times, so obviously in my head, I've already been like thinking about, okay, how am I actually gonna produce a song? And even being there last night, I was like, you know what, I'm not sure exactly. But if I had to, and obviously like I've said before, you know, until I actually sit down and make the track, who knows how it's actually going to come out. But if I had to give genres, I feel like this, the track for success would come out super unique. And I feel like the verses in the track would be almost future based. So think of like Marshmallow or Slushy, those artists. But the drops, I feel would be would be very Brazilian based. So think of like Alok or Lowriders or Felgic. Very Brazilian bass, maybe slash deep house, right? So the verses would be kind of upbeat, poppy, future bass style productions. And then when it builds up, the drops would be kind of a little bit future as well, but have that hard hitting, pumping bass of the, the, the Brazilian bass style, but produced obviously like a tech deep house style percussion rhythm, right? So kind of fusing a bunch of elements together because at first, and this is kind of what happens anytime I do you know, a song trying to encapsulate something in musical form. At first I was like, you know what? I think maybe I might just do Deep House, but I'm like, no, because I feel like the future poppy upbeat vibes really does go off with excess, especially with, like I said, with the duality of the club, you have so much poppy, relaxing, upbeat vibes outside, but obviously inside you have the raging intense part of the experience. So I think I have to basically encapsulate both aspects of that when going to excess. And I think having the future base upbeat, poppy parts be of the vocal region of the track. Now the Brazilian bass be the main drop would fit excess perfectly.